Hey, what's going on, church? We are so excited that you decided to join us for these daily devotionals. And as you know, we have been in these Luke devotionals, and they have been incredible. Uh, but today I'm even more excited because, as you can see, I'm wearing my Serve shirt because we are getting ready for Serve Day 2022, and it will be July 30th. And I encourage you, if you get a moment, go check out our webpage, and you can see all the different ways that you can get plugged in and what HPC is doing in this city and the surrounding areas. But to get back to our devotionals, today we're going to be diving into Luke chapter 18, and we're going to read verses 1 through 5. And as you kind of open up there, let me kind of catch you up what's going on. You see, Jesus, he is sharing with his disciples. And on this particular day, he shares with them a parable about prayer. And it even confirms that at the beginning of this passage. It says this in verse 1. One day, Jesus told his disciples a story to show that they should always pray and never give up. Boom. We know where we're going already today. Verse 2, he begins to tell the story. He says, there was a judge in a certain city who neither feared God nor cared about people. Now, understand, church, back then it wouldn't be hard for whoever was sitting in that audience to kind of understand that concept. And if we're honest, you and I, we can kind of understand that today too because if we really think about it, we know that there's always going to be people who use positions of power for their self-serving purposes. Now, in this story, that person, it's a judge. And this judge, he doesn't care about justice at all. Because for this judge, there's no sense of responsibility. There's no sense to want to uh, kind of produce action because all he cares about is himself. And that's why Jesus calls him the unjust judge. Verse 3, he says, A widow of that so city came to him repeatedly saying, Give me justice in this dispute with my enemy. So Jesus, we know he begins the story by giving us a picture of a man in a position of power. And it's probably a guy that's as lousy as they come. But then he contrasts that with a woman in a position of utter vulnerability. A woman whose case should have been clear cut. A woman who should have just walked in the courthouse and walked out just as fast. And this woman in the story, she represents those who have nothing and no one. She's oppressed, she needs help, and all she has left is the hope that asking this judge will make a difference. And Jesus, he doesn't describe her age or her exact situation, only that she has an opponent and she believes that right is on her side. So in her vulnerability and her desperation, she decides to come to the one who can and should help. And the Bible says she pleads and she begs for justice. We don't know if someone has robbed her or defrauded her. Maybe her deceased husband's estate has been withheld from her. We don't know exactly what's happening in her life. But whatever happened, it meant enough to her that she refuses to remain silent. And the Bible says in verse 4, the judge he ignores her for a while, but finally he says to himself, I don't fear God or care about people. In other words, if it doesn't affect me, I'm just going to remain silent. I'm not going to choose one way or the other. But the Bible says this lady, she keeps coming back over and over and over again. She doesn't give up, and eventually she gets inside his head. She gets him talking to himself even. He says, I don't fear God or care about people, but verse 5, but this woman is driving me crazy. I'm going to see that she gets justice because she is wearing me out with her constant request. Don't you love that, church? By her asking over and over and over again, she managed to get on the judge's last nerve. The Bible says that she bothered him so much, he decided to grant her request and rule in her favor. You see, this judge, he wasn't moved with compassion or steered by justice. He wouldn't even budge out of shame, but this woman was about to bug him to death, and that was enough for that day. Now, of course, I read this story, and I'm like, okay, Jesus, what are you trying to teach us? And I think there's two things that really stood out to me. The first thing is that I wanted to encourage you today is Jesus is not like the judge. Jesus, he doesn't stay far away. Instead, he says, come all who are weary and I will give you rest. He doesn't hide up on a bench holding some kind of title. No, he says, he says, seek and you will find me. Church, because at the end of the day, he cares about you. He wants to talk to you. And, and, and the truth of it is, if it matters to you, it matters to him. 
He wants to build that relationship with you through conversation and through prayer. So we learn that Jesus is not like the judge. The second thing that stood out to me is we need to be as desperate as the widow. And what are you saying, Pastor Eric? I'm saying never stop praying. Don't give up. Keep going to God with what's on your heart because he wants to hear you. He wants to hear the desperation that's inside of you. And he wants to listen. And listen, if what you want lines up with his will, it will happen. I think so many times we don't hear anything when we just give up and we say, oh, no, it just must be a no from God. No, no. Sometimes a no from God just means not yet because you're not ready to handle the thing that you want. So we've got to trust the process and we've got to never give up because at the end of the day church he loves you and he wants the best for you can i get a good amen come on do you believe and receive that today look i hope you do and if this has been helpful and this has encouraged you i encourage you share this link with someone else and listen don't forget if you got a prayer request something on your heart please put it in the comments because we hold it as an honor to be able to pray for you as well look we love you and we'll see you back here tomorrow